Yo, what's up everyone? I'm Jay Hardway. I'm in my little small studio in Amsterdam and today I'm gonna explain to you how I made the remix I did for Sam Feld, uh, Runaway, Sam Feld and Deep End. Yeah, I'm gonna show you my process like I did before on Wake Up. Uh, I'm gonna go through the project and show you what I did and how I got to the end result. It's a remix. So I, um, I got the parts from, uh, from Sam Feld and uh, from Spinning. I check if I like it, if I like the vocals, if I like the melodies, uh, because that's what I need to work with. So I need to like it before I can accept the remix uh, request. And then uh, once I accepted it and I got the parts, I put them in a project and I'm just checking them out without anything on it. And I'm mostly not using the drums out of the remix package, just the, the chords and vocals. And it sounds like this. Hey, little darling, I'm gonna take you out of the darkness. I wanna walk with you. Um, you have the vocals, which is really nice. Uh, you can hear the chords of the piano and the bass. Basically, I, I start with making a break, making a new break that sounds more like me. This is the project. Um, and yeah, the break starts really simple. It starts like this. I took the chords um, of the original piano and I made this out of it with Synthmaster, one of my favorite plugins uh, right now. Um, and these are the chords. I always make some little adjustments uh, that I like and some extra notes here and there. So. It's not exactly a copy of the original chords, but I just make them my own. Um, I'm gonna show you what's on this channel. There's a lot of effects. This is how it sounds clean. Well, it's too much bass, so I uh, take out the low end with an EQ, like right here. I want it to sound stereo, uh, so I use a stereo shaper from Foodie Loops. If you wear headphones, you can hear it well, or you have some good monitor monitors, you can hear it. Uh, some more EQs. Take out a little bit of the mid to low end. Um, then some reverb. And the filters, uh, I have uh, like uh, low pass and high pass filters on it, uh, but I use that later in the project. And um, that's basically the, f the first part of the break. And then the fun starts uh, when the chord starts changing um, and the, like the, the chorus of the, the song comes on and it happens right here. The chords uh, I just showed you, they change, they change into this. And um, there's more layers, of course, more layers of music, more layers of drums. So I'm going to explain to you what is underneath there. So you have the main synth in the, in the break and there I added this pattern with three new instruments. First is a piano, uh, playing the same chords as the uh, main synth, but just as uh, just m notes every, um, every bar. So now there's many notes. Plug in uh, two pianos. I use it a lot when I um, when I want to like a piano that sounds real. Uh, it sounds pretty real. It doesn't sound really realistic because I don't play the piano myself. Uh, but it's a really nice plugin. I'm really happy with it. Um, and this is turned off. Okay. And then there's which I really like. I have some strings under it. Place the bass notes, it's like the bass uh, string thing, big thing, I don't know how you call it, contrabass in, in Dutch, but maybe 
different in English, but this is uh, playing the bass notes of the of the chord progression, and this is a really full instrument. Um, it gives it really like. And then there's a normal sign bass from uh, Nexus. And that's like a really clean, deep bass, which always supports uh, breaks really well, I think. Um, so yeah, that's added right here. And as you can hear, I put a kickstart um, on a piano. Kickstart uh, from Nick Romero, doing the side chain. <laughs> And that makes it more like uh, bouncy because there's also a clap coming in in the break. So it sounds really full, and that's mostly because the piano is, is, is like a really nice instrument and the, the strings under it. Um, and there's the piano of the original. Um, I'm gonna show you right now. Um, how I use that because I didn't want to use it. It's, it's like an add on. I have my own piano and then this one. Sounds really nice. So, um, yeah, that's why I have it under there as well because that's an actual recorded piano. So, always sounds better. And you can hear you can hear it here uh, as well in the break, right before the big part. Um, if I put this off, and that's really like uh, gives it a more lively feel because it's a real piano. So that's a nice uh, part from the remix package. I, I enjoy those kind of real instruments. So. Um, then we go on to the next part. I have more uh, more strings in it, and it's playing the the note that is the the key of the song. So. Okay, and then what else is under there is um, more strings, um, violas, and I really love these because they really sound really full. Playing the exact same chords I made in the piano roll, so it's um, just copied um, and I put a stereo enhancer in Fruity Loops under it um, and it has a preset for strings and it really pulls the strings nicely to the side so you get a really wide uh, wide sound. Uh, also a kickstart for side chaining so it bounces with it and it's it's coming up with a filter so you can't hear it's not fully open here yet the filter so <laughs> So you can hear it coming up um, through this automation. If you don't know how to make an automation, so this this line tells what the button is doing. Um, so you can right click the button and then create automation clip. And then you just draw the line up, down, up uh, means it's going uh, to the right and down means going to. The, so every button in whole, the whole of Studio you can control like that. Um, so yeah, that's the break. Um, basically everything, there's percussion as well. Um, yeah, it's, there's a hi-hat first. Just a simple hi-hat. And then there's a clap, which is from the cashmere pack. Um, and there's just only reverb on it. Here you can see it. Um, little things but you can make it really uh, dress up your song so to say um, and there's some effects I'll, I'll go to that later 
how to fill everything up and um, so yeah that's basically the the break the good thing with this and most remixes is that the break is the part where you already have like you already have the vocal you have the melodies so it's it's really fun to work with and really easy because you can you don't have to think of a new melody or uh, the vocals doing a lot of the work so if you just build some nice chords under it it makes it um, really really fun to do um, and then we go uh, to the drop um, if you didn't hear this track yet I suggest you go buy it <laughs> uh, now here's the drop Um, yeah, that's, I'm really happy with this drop, that's where, and this is where the, the remix really uh, stands out for me. Um, so yeah, let's, I'm just going to show you what is, uh, what is in it, and um, yeah, please let me know in the comments if, if, if something is unclear, I'm always, uh, I can always come back and um, do another video. Um, the main thing in the, the lead, the lead sound in the um, drop is the vocal. just get rid of this and um, like I did in wake up you have fruity slicer um, right here which allows you to cut up a vocal I'm gonna show you I have a um, I have fruity slicer it's an empty channel right here and I'm gonna put the vocal in it of this remix package I'm just gonna drag it in there and then I'm gonna I can delete this one, don't need it. Um, and then you can see it doesn't really cut it up good. Like it just starts, I don't know, makes six big chunks and I want small little parts I can play with. So you go here, medium auto slicing, and then it cuts it up like this. And you have all these small, let me just put it harder. Turn the volume up. Dutch English. Um, so yeah, you have all the parts. And then you just start playing around with that. Um, and then you get... So wait, I'm going to take the effects off first so you can hear how it sounds. Um, you can delete that and I'm going to put everything... Oh, well, there's a lot on it. That's uh, what I came up with. Um, it's just playing around till you get the right, the right notes. You can make tons of melodies just with this folk art. I did this. And I put this one up. So you can you can like take a take a sample, take it here. And I want that higher. I can do it. I can play with the pitch. So you can play with the pitch. You can play with the the, the different parts. You have uh, I have here like 100 parts to play with. So. And the thing is. Um, Right here in, um, in um, Fruity Slicer, you can see here, it, it says PS, it means it stands for Pitch, uh, Pitch Shift, and uh, it's here on Normal, but then I added another layer of the same exact uh, Fruity Slicer, and I put the pitch all the way up, like this, um, and it sounds like this. And together you get... And that's the whole melody actually of the of the whole song. Um, but the, the magic with this, it, it, the thing with vocal chops is it sounds really good and really alive already. Uh, and then I'm just adding a bunch of effects to make it bigger. I'm going to show you it's on this channel. A sound goodizer. 
I'm gonna sh show you as well what every effect does because it makes every effect makes uh, makes a difference. Then reverb. Then EQ, like this, and you can see here. It makes it really bright and um, takes away a, a little bit of the low, as you can see. Uh, you can this EQ is uh, standard in Fruity Loops. You can see the orange lines represent where the sound is. So if I if I take this away, you can see there's less orange lines there. So and delay. It's not uh, doing anything right now, it's not active. You can use this to make... Yeah, it's really annoying, so... Uh, it's not active right now, uh, but it is linked to an automation clip, like I said before. Um, EQ, that does nothing, still on there, I don't know why. Uh, Kickstart for the sidechain with this preset. Kickstart is really um, a little bit lazy, so I like to use it. You just drop it on your sidechain. Uh, you can also use gross beat, and you can draw the volumes uh, like you want it. And another reverb. And then I linked this channel, channel 10 to channel 13, by right-clicking here and then route to this track only. Um, and then I put a bunch of more effects on it. Sausage Fattener, which is a distortion plugin that makes it the sound really pop out. Um, and then a kickstart, more sidechain, uh, free filter. I use that to uh, use the cutoff and later in the song. And um, balance, I'm not sure. Bal I use Fruity Balance as a volume control. I don't know if I use this or if I did anything with it but it's on there um yeah so that's the the main lead in the drop So that's really important, um, but what's also really important is what's underneath that uh, vocal, and that's this. Um, starts with the drums. Um, there's a kick. It's this is where is it? Lost the kick. All right here. This is the bass drum I used. And a um, bunch of effects. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm first going into the synths because that's more interesting, I think. Yes, bass line. I really like this preset. It sounds like a really an analog bass and a more, I don't know, it's a kind of funky sound. It's, it feels really alive to me, so that's why I love to use this one. This is the rhythm. And I add this one for a little bit of attack on every bass note. So you can like. And there's a sidechain on it, uh, simple kickstart, sausage fattener because I want the bass to really be present and uh, a little bit of dirtiness, a little bit of fatness. And uh, EQ, like you can see, I take it until like 50 hertz. I take everything off because the kick is for me the lowest, um, lowest frequency in the track. So the bass, you don't want it to interfere with your kick, the kick you want to hear on the festival. like. Bouncing and then it's linked to a channel 
filters, uh, high pass filters. So later on in the track, I can do like this. You can use it for build up or uh, transitions and stuff like that. Um, and on the other one, it's just a, just a kickstart. And it's also linked to the same link channel as the bass. So I can filter that at the same time. Um, and then there's these chords. Silent preset, it's called uh, Fifth Profit. And um, it goes like this. Plays the chords and uh, the rhythm, the exact same rhythm as the as the bass line, um, because that's like the whole the whole rhythm of the drop. Um, and um, here I have a kickstart. I have a stereo shaper. Um, like you want the bass to be in the middle of your track, so you want the bass like this bass. You want it mono, as they say, like in the middle of your track, and you can select that here. Stereo separation, if you put it to the right, it stays mono and you know your bass is safe and solid. So that's that. Um, and so I have this one stereo. Probably on a headphone you can hear the difference uh, if the sound of this rec recording is good enough. Um, and um, yeah, my speakers, I can hear it, you can hear it wider and these EQs it's just EQ is always just by ear and that's just like I hear uh, in this synth I hear a certain sound oh I don't like that frequency so I take it down until I like it and then just go on and on until it sounds uh, good um, That's the first part, and then the second part because there's more synths on it. I'm gonna I bounce this to wave. It sounds separately like this. But that's a wave file. Um, yeah, that's not really um, fun to see. But it's coming from this pattern. Three synths and they're just playing the chords. Um, gonna show you all three. Uh, this is Sin Master. And there's a kickstart on it. Um, then the second one. Kickstart on it, there's EQ. Like I take out the low end. So here you can hear a low sound. Here it's gone, so that's cool. And then a bit more EQ like this. And then the third one, which I really love, it's because it's a church organ. And I'm gonna show you without EQ. I love this synth, Sonic Synth 2. Um, yeah, it just has these crazy organs and like church organs, and I really like it. So um, yeah, this layer, uh, I just it's it's just a base. Yeah, it's just. Um, by feeling, you just create a layer, you, you, like if I had this. It was like, I need more, I'm, I need more underneath and I love church organs, so why not put a church organ in it. So I had that and then I wanted to um, play this rhythm I play here. But, as you can hear, this synth is really like building up. It like has a slow attack, so if you, if you press it, like if I would draw the, 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 melody, the rhythm here, it would be like... 
you wouldn't even hear it. So I want that this effect like I wanted it every time. So what I did was I bounced uh, this pattern and the way I bounce, I'll show you. I bounce this pattern. This uh, pattern I bounced to wave. And as you can see, I just cut it up following the rhythm of the drop. And I put some more effects on that wave file. Um, just some EQ, take out a little bit of the lows and um, up the highs a little bit like here. Putting in, yeah, just by ear. What I do first is uh, um, I just drag the wave file into the song, I cut it up and then I start listening like uh, it has to, it need, the low end needs to be less or this needs to be more. Until it sounds good enough and that's, that was what happened here. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, you have those two or like uh, how much? Yeah, three, three synths, another three, six, and the drums. And then you add that amazing vocal, and you get. I'm gonna show you the drums. And I'm going to show you what it is. It's this kick from Vengeance. Um, and there's EQ, but not active right now. I only, I only use this one in the beginning of the song for the intro, so you don't have the bass in the intro. There's this little tiny clap. Wait, I'm going to drag everything together first. My videographer is going to do some magic here at once. At once the drums are together. Um, yeah, these are the drums. You have... Oh wait, I don't know why this channel is blocked. No, no one knows. Okay. You have this snare. It's a, I call it just a snare. It's a snare I made once from different snares. I'm not even sure. I love Justice and it sounds like one of the snares they could use. You know, check out Justice, fucking awesome. Uh, with EQ, because I, it's this too heavy for, uh, for underneath the kick and all the drums and melody, so. And this is what I do with EQ. Then a, uh, Hyatt, and it's from Vengeance, real Hyatt, and then I just took it out of a loop. Um, another little clap with some EQ. Give it a little bit of high end. Uh, the kick. And then this is a cool trick because here I have a clap um, that I that is normally a clap that is like this. Like it's a clap that that is supposed to be oh, that is supposed to be right before the 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 line before the kick, but it's too heavy for me, so I take only the part that is before the. Because I have other claps and snares, it sounds like this. And then there's this white noise thing from a cashmere bank uh, in stereo. Yeah, that's uh, that's the drop actually. Uh, I think I got everything there except for the crashes and stuff. But I come back to that later. Uh, yeah. And um, of course, it doesn't sound immediately like this. I have to, uh, I, I, I put something in there that doesn't work. I put something in there and I tweak, I tweak, I tweak until I get this. 
So, um, yeah, that's... Um, and then the second part, there is a violin, which I'm going to search for where it is. Uh, right here, that comes to it. Didn't sound like this first. Um, let me just take everything off. Just a melody I came up with uh, that fits perfectly underneath the the chords of the drop. Um, it sounds really nice, but as you can hear, you can't hear it now. As you can hear. You can't hear it now. <laughs> okay, you can hear it, but it doesn't sound the way I want it. What I do is a sound goodizer uh, from Fruity, which people are always laughing at me for using it, but... Depends what you're using it for. It just gives it like a boost, like a sort of distortion to to a sound and yeah, I mean, I like to use it, so fuck it. <laughs> um, Sidechain by Nicky Romero. Thanks, Nicky. <laughs> um, EQ, that's really important because it makes it way more clean. And here a little bit more EQ. And then I wanted it in stereo, uh, so get it wide, stereo enhancer. And then some more EQ. There's already reverb in this sample itself, so if you put everything on it, it will enlarge the reverb as well. And a kickstart, like I said. And because it's stereo and it's not um, uh, not as loud and it's not in the foreground, but you can really hear it, so it's it's really a nice add-on. And there's a hi hat that comes in. Just to make the the second part of the drop more interesting and um, yeah, that's uh, that's the drop already. Um, so. Um, second break. Second break of this track is basically the same break as the first. Just goes to the, the chorus a bit faster, like here. Added the uh, the violin there again, underneath it. So um, and the rest is just the same as the first. Uh, break. Also here the strings and everything that's in there. And um, yeah, that's basically the whole track. Uh, but then it's not finished uh, because you have all the effects that make um, a, a setup of a track a track actually finished. Like every transition needs to be smooth and I have different effects for that. Um, and the first you can hear in the beginning with the vocal. It's just the first part of the drop vocal. Uh, and then I put it, that delay, what I told you about earlier. Put it on with an automation clip. And that should be somewhere over uh, right here. This one, this one, uh, this one. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, the delay here 
is on, is on, is on until right here. Like this one. It's just the beginning of the vocal with delay on it, so you can hear it like this. I use that later as well, um, and... I did it in there to keep it interesting and to have kind of an introduction to the drop and also in the build-up. It's already like an introduction, like this is going to be the drop and it um, yeah makes the track really nice. So. Then there's like the musical effects. Uh, for instance, I have this. I use a lot of Cashmere sample banks uh, because they're, the quality is just really good and he has different, um, different sounds and real instruments. And I used that, made it sure it was the right key in the beginning. And then there's this one I should And it's just an ambience thing, and I put a reverb on it. This is um, fruity standard reverb, and there's a preset. If you go here to presets and say ambience, um, it has a really long decay time, and it really, like you can hear, if it stops here, you can hear it going for a long time. Uh, so I really like that. Then I have to, this one. Also Cashmere, it's a vocal uh, reverse and I put it in the right key by using this pitch knob. Um, all those small things make the track more interesting, especially in the intro, which is mostly uh, boring. So, And also in the intro I have the chords playing with this instrument. Oh, this one. I don't know what pack this is from, but I have been using this for a long time already. With reverb on it, and then... And then there's the white noise things, the sweeps. Um, which really build up your track, make the transitions more smooth, and um, yeah, I think this is all details in a track. Like I have, I use different ones, um, put a lot of EQ on it, and that way you get a. If you, you combine different ones, you get your own, your own sounding ones. You know, you get, you find out what sounds good. This kind of white noise, this has nothing on it, sounds like this. And now it sounds like this. It makes it like really full. And with those sweeps, you can reverse them uh, like this for this button. And I have that one right here. And it builds up to another part. So. So yeah, um, I think that's all the EQ I used, all the effects I mean. Um, and then there's this reverb kick. Thank you, Cashmere. <laughs> like if you use those sort of sounds, um, just pick the ones you like and make sure it, um, you get nice transitions and you keep the track interesting all the way down to the end, even the, uh, the outro you can do. <laughs> 
Final part, uh, which I didn't explain yet, is the build-up. Um, I have different things in there. The chords playing. On an instrument, I used an intro as well. Snare, there's a Vengeance snare. You can search it up and use it as well. <laughs> and which comes up with a low-pass filter. And it plays this, it, it just builds up. Uh, yeah, builds up with the pitch as well. You can do fun stuff with it. You and I is, you can hear you and I. In the build up, it, like you rolling towards a drop. And the strings. And some people use um, only white noise in their build-ups, but I like to also have like these kind of sounds. So yeah, one is from Cashmere sample pack, one is from a Vengeance sample pack. Uh, if you add it to your white noise, uh, stuff like that can hype up your build-up even more and um, make it just a little bit more unique. And then there's the fill, which I'm going to show you separately as well, because that's a pretty fun fill, I think. And it goes like this. And then there's one more kick, which I forgot I hear. Yeah. There we go. And then here is the drop. Um, yeah, I always combine um, percussion and fill presets or like samples into my own fills, like you can, uh, if I go to a cashmere sample bank, for instance, uh, fills, short fills. Uh, that's all 100 BPM, wait, uh, 128. Maybe you don't like the first part. Uh, wait, this is 128, so I have to put it to 126. Maybe you don't like this part, but you do like this part. So you can take that and add another part at the beginning, and so you get your own um, your own fills, which is fun. And mine sounds like this. I have uh, this this cowbell, which is in key, and um, yeah, that's my fill actually. And just make sure your fill, make sure the beginning of your drop pop out even more. So I think I got everything uh, in this project. Um, so um, that is my remix for Sam Felt, um, and this is how it looks like, if you can see everything, the automation clips, all these um, control buttons in the process, and um, yeah, this is it. It's still made in FL Studio 10, if you're wondering, um, so I have these um, pattern blocks which I still love um, so yeah I still use it this is the project um, this is the whole project the way it looks like and um, I want to thank you for watching 
and we're going to do more of these series. I'm going to explain more of my tracks. So if you have a, a suggestion which track I should explain, please let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, I will definitely come back with another episode soon. Thanks. Oh,